Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 3 here on White Whale Gaming. I am your host, Whale, and before we get into today's episode, I'd like to apologize for the lack of production quality in yesterday's episode. I was recording later in the day and was pretty darn tired and still trying to wrap my head around the episode before that, scenes involving Guernica Van Damme. And uh, the unknown Mobius entity. But now that I think all that's through, let's have a better episode today. Before we get started, the biggest bit of rambling I was going on about last episode, semi-incoherently, was the difference between Mio's Zephyr class and the uh, Twin Rings weapon type from Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which the Zephyr class is clearly based off of. In Xenoblade Chronicles 2, at low levels of a level up on Twin Rings arts, most Twin Rings characters in the early game would take down enemies with their auto attacks before even charging up a single art. Mio seems to have much quicker recharge times, and her Zephyr class, therefore, is much quicker in gameplay, and that is something that I consider a positive. The Twin Rings class has some pretty good arts, but unfortunately before they're leveled up and start having their recharge amounts reduced, you never really get to see them except in really long fights. Now, we have one of these instances where we have the ability to speak to our party members outside of the party. So, let's get to that. Starting with everyone's favorite, Chad Pawn. Riku. Proper hunting now, Noah. This no time for tomfoolering. Okay, there, f Fluffball. Let's pick up the, or interact with the Doge tags. Are these his dog tags? Guernica Vandam. I guess that's his name. That's great. Huh? I kind of hated the idea of not even knowing who he was. Right, yeah. Let's remember him as the man who gave us a goal and the ability to choose. Yeah. Come on, guys. Just when I thought I was past losing best boy already, you go and show me his dog tags. Uh, and that little scene around it. Hey, Senna. Doesn't look like there's much we can make use of here. Lands. Ah, spark it all. Never rains, but it pours, eh? Don't know what that's on about, but... Okay. Uni? What's in store for us, do you think? Actually, scratch that. You're probably as in the dark as any of us, Noah. <laughs> Tyon and Manana. We have not talked to the Manana Banana before. You Are you related to Chairman Banana? Manana looking for foodstuffs. Tyon. We couldn't have foreseen that events would take this particular turn. Oh, I could have foreseen. I mean, that Mobius guy literally said, the whole world's now our enemy. What part of the whole world didn't include... Oh, but our colony friends aren't gonna, you know, not kill us because we're now Ouroboros. Let's see if we can approach Mio without triggering the uh, story cutscene there. We should gather up anything that looks useful for the road ahead. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. Oh, it's not a, it's not a flag, but an interact. Good. Hey, 
These are all clothing containers. Cooking ingredients here. Is she too good at these? There's one with equipment too. Not exactly equipped to match our setup. Eh, we'll just have to deal. Hmm. What's with the frown? Have they got nothing in your size? Well, this fabric is awfully thin. It doesn't seem very reliable. You can't expect luxury, can you? Bound to be better than nothing. Unless you're happy with what you have now? N no, I'll wear it. We all have to make sacrifices. Ooh, you know, I might be able to rock this jacket. Maybe I'll go for this one. I like the colors. Not exactly the freshest threads, eh? Maybe it's on the old side, but there's no tears. It'll be fine. They've got lots of funny designs here, huh? They sure do. Some of the stuff's like, how do you even put it on? Huh. Pretty easy to move in this, Gore. Oh, yeah? Are there any more of those? Sorry, just this. Oh, shoot. What is it? Not gonna change? Huh? Um, y yeah, I... Hang on, still gotta, uh, change my boots, I guess. Y your boots? Uh, you'll need a hand with those, yeah? <laughs> oh, 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 wait, uh, I can help. Huh? What's boot them? They could've just changed here. They went pretty far off, huh? Huh? Is that... Yeah. My time left. <laughs> Think about it. Wouldn't want to lose track of time and just run out. Today, it's exactly three months. Three more months. And then I'll be gone from this world. I've thought about this a lot. About what I can achieve. What I'll leave behind. <sighs> I've sent off so many who felt the same. I see. So that's why you trusted that guy. You hope to live more. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Huh. But you and me just talking like this. I think that's kind of amazing. And if there really is hope in that place that the man mentioned. Is that what you'd want for a legacy? <laughs> Weird question. Those who can leave their legacy, are they content at the end? Huh? And the ones left behind, can they really come to terms with that? That's food for thought, huh? I think about it all the time. What we leave when we're gone, what that connection truly means. Connection, eh? Heavy stuff. Yeah. That's life, I guess.
All right, I believe this means we have reached the end of chapter one. Let's quickly override our save. It's good to keep a record. Yeah, you don't need to say it twice, Noah. Agnes and Keras, working together as a team. Tyon seems a little dissatisfied, but at the time, his thinking was quite aligned with mine. Finding a path that lets us all live. I will make that my mission. I'm sorry. Huh? If I'd been just a bit faster, I could have saved many more lives. Uh, who are? I'm Ethel, from Colony 4. Silvercoat Ethel! She pushed her colony all the way to rank silver, and in her third term at that. Some do call me that. However, a person's worth isn't in their color. It's here. Nice blade you've got. Guys, eh? It's a wild ride, this passage of fate. We got ourselves a nice little awakening. You were all talk when you left here, but you've nothing to show for it, D. Oh, spare me, P. After all, I did precisely what I was meant to do. So, about that huge bet of yours? Pray tell us who won. <sighs> A draw, I think. And with two whole colonies on the field. We should have sallied forth in the first place. The whole thing would have been done by tea time. Duh. It was Jay who insisted on it. I thought that that had already been communicated. In that case, I believe it's my turn next. <laughs> <laughs> 
H, I'm pretty sure you already had your kicks the other day when you wiped out Colony 8, no? Surely the turn is mine. Honestly, you make more noise than the rabble at a feast. There! Even if you did stop its raging flow, it will soon burst through. All it takes is the slightest fissure. And that is fate. I've told you before, haven't I? D. Ah, the gang's all here again. Okay. Will you go? If you say I go, I go. Well then, let us see how far the flow brings them this time. No! Yeah! Oh! Guys, what do you think you're doing? Oh, Cyan, morning! Hey, did we wake you? Honestly, I'm surprised you haven't gone and woken up the whole Forsaken Continent. So? Oh, this. We reckon we might be able to do the same as what Noah and Mio did. You reckoned? You mean that Ouroboros thing? Yeah! How badass was that? We thought if we pulled it off, it'd raise our chances of survival a whole bunch. And you think it's that easy? Huh? I mean... I don't mean to burst your bubble here, but don't you think maybe that power's meant only for them? Yeah, but that Mobius guy, he did refer to us. I just thought... You thought maybe you could transform as well? What makes you think it would be you two anyway? Say it is possible. It could be me and Lance. It's just... kind of a feeling. Yeah, just a hunch, right? Something wrong? Not at all. Then uh, I guess that leaves me with her. <sighs> Kai envy you, I really do. Ah, oh, what are you moaning about now? Let's drop it. I don't want us bickering this early. Especially, not now we seem to be sharing a common destiny, we happy few. If I didn't know better... I'd say you're trying to get us all worked up. Think whatever you want. I think you might be on the mark, though. Oh? We were all there, every one of us, in the same situation. Now, hold on. The only difference was I was set on protecting Mio, protecting all of you guys. And then I suddenly transformed. That's it. That's all it took. Yeah. So you can take that form via a strong desire or emotion? Possibly. Probably too much to ask a Professor Grump here. What, me? Well, who do you think? And you're any different? What, me? <laughs> As if I'm gonna join with you. Uni. Come on, though. You're not going to manage this overnight. Not the way you all are right now. Even so... It can't hurt to have a little hope, can it? Hmm. I suppose there's logic in that. Okay, everyone ready? Yeah. Tasty treats? Check. I just took a quick look to see and this equipment seems surprisingly quality. Don't you think?
Uh, yeah. Looks that way. That city we're heading for. Looks like it'll be a long journey. I found us a route heading south. Will that work for you? Thanks, Tyon. Hey, you've got some real handy data there. I guess we should head through the caves and toward Milchick Meadows first, then. Chin up, guys. Let's get going. Changing player character. Press L or R while holding ZL to switch control between the characters in your party. This can, can be done while exploring the world or while in battle. Big responsibility. Come on. Who else? I'll do my best. Okay. L seems to go up. Do exactly as I say. All under control. But R goes down through the list, assuming Noah is the top and Senna is the bottom. Which, as we know from pre-release materials, that is the case. The Agnes trio will be filtered into the combat order between the Kevis trio. This is something decent, right? With Noah in the one spot, Mio in the two spot, then Uni, then Tyon, with Lanz and Senna in the fifth and sixth spots. We can no longer interact with Van Damme's emptied out clothing. Sadness. Indeed. Before we go on, We've got some butts to kick. I think we all know which butts I'm talking about kicking. Uh, I'll have to get my revenge on that stupid wolf later. Sorry, a wolf. But, I can take out my frustration of not being able to kick that specific butt. By taking down this elite. All right. Did Lan seriously burn his topple already? The wrong positioning to get the break of there. Okay, I feel a little bit better after losing to that wolf by taking down that turd bird there. I have been playing more on my personal account as well. I still haven't gone past where this account is in the story. But I have now played on that account up through the initial fight with Mobius. And I've been playing around a bit more with the combat and been checking to see what we can possibly get going. Learn a bit more, taking down elites, taking down that unique bunnet I opted not to fight on this account. And even going so far as to take what I had learned to kind of style on Mobius a bit in the rematch. So hopefully... My mastery of the combat system will only increase as I continue playing through on my personal account as well. Quick stop at the rest Are point. Sure we're well rested? What does clean clothes do? Personal hygiene is every soldier's duty. I have no idea what this even does. We can all level up. I'm going to take us all to 12 just to even us out on the leveling curve. Ah, 
I naturally did more fighting when playing as Uni than when playing as Mio due to having more experience in general with how the Kevis trio plays to begin with. And we will leave everyone there. No one can get up to 13. Break time's over. We don't need to save. I'll throw I throw down a hard save between each episode so if something goes on goes wrong during recording. How come you get to be the boss? I know this stuff too. And so if something goes wrong, I can simply reload from the hard save and try again. And from here on out, I will not be using bonus experience at a campsite again, unless we're really getting our butts handed to us. And I want to not have to worry about doing nearly so much grinding. I also wasn't seeing any sort of combos being used by the Agnes Trio, so I'll have to check their arts later to see if we have any combo arts unequipped on them that we could switch over. I hope we can make use of this. And the Agnes Trio should take the Xenoblade 2 driver combo and use that for their combo route. With smat, with a launch and smash, replacing days and the brand new burst reaction. Okay. I really miss from Definitive Edition the sort of emblems above an enemy's head that tells you what sort of detection type it is. These Vangs appear to be sound-based detection. Even if their back is turned to us, they'll still attack us if we approach because we're just making a lot of noise. But in Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, if an enemy is visual or... well visually aggressive or auditorily aggressive, it'll show uh, a icon of either an eye or of sound waves to indicate it. Okay. These icons were, for the most part, absent from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And I'm really disappointed to see them being absent once again. How do you think we feel? What a gorgeous view. Wait, this isn't the right way, is it? We'd just end up back at Alfetto Valley. But, 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 you small-brained individuals. I we can get some loot. It like so. Okay. Of course. Ah, not loot, but a ladder. Useful to have. Fight with focus. <laughs> I practically know this one by heart. Variable turret. Why right. oh, a part of me now. I could have handled that on my own. So, uh, when's the battle happening? 
Okay, so those guys are easy. Let's keep going until we find something a little tougher to test our metal against. Maybe another elite, or maybe see if we can't take down our first unique monster. But for now, this gives me a real serious vibes of walking out of, of Tephra Cave in Xenoblade Chronicles onto the Bionis leg for the first time. So let's see what what sort of view we get here. Millic Meadows. Landmark discovered, Kilmaris Highlands. That is certainly a lethal fall. Uh, no, I'm not going to test it. It'll be a long journey before we reach the Great Sword. Everything's going to be fine, Mimi. Hang in there. Uh, and speaking of the Bionis leg, those overhangs there, players of Super Smash Bros. may recognize them. But those overhangs there are actually what constitutes the Gower Plane stage in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Ironically, those overhangs on the Bionis leg in Xenoblade Chronicles are not accessible. So unlike the fighters in Smash Bros., you cannot stand on top of those overhanging ledges. And also, doubly ironically, uh, I don't know if you'd ever want to, and Smash Bros. players certainly don't want to, as Gower Plane, in its non-Omega, non-Battlefield form, is one of the most annoying stages in all of Super Smash Bros. Potentially the most annoying non-scrolling stage in Super Smash Bros. history. Hey guys, could I have a moment? Meh? Hmm? Yeah? What's up? There's something that I forgot to tell you. It's about who in charge of Dindin duties! No. From now on, I want us to avoid combat as much as possible. So, Kevez, Agnes, if either of them decide to put up a fight, don't kill them, okay? Not saying I'm against the idea, but why? Guess it'd suck having to draw on our allies. Do we just knock them out cold or something? Or get them to surrender. How kind of you. Huh? I'm sure our past victims will appreciate that. You little... We don't need to take any more lives. There's no point. <sighs> There's a reason we met. There has to be. Huh? You think? Back then, if we hadn't met each other, we wouldn't be here like this now. Even though we're being chased by both nations at once. We get chased, we run. Easy. A smart new decision. We'll keep on running to that sword. <sighs> Talk about bad blood. Just give it time. It's early days. Maybe so. Funny pattern you got there. You can talk. You've got those shiny chest doodads. We've always had these. You know, I've never even thought of myself as strange before. So many things. Taken for granted. We're pretty different, huh? Worlds apart. No one's worlds apart. If anything, we should be questioning all that we've thought to be true. 
Differences are all a matter of perspective. <laughs> Our skeptic. Hey, are you always like this? Of course. It's my nature. Hmm. Personally, I think it's easier to take things at face value, you know? Now, wouldn't that be nice? Huh? You making fun of me? But all I said was, it would be nice. Oh, no, you don't. You just call me an airhead, you jerk. This is just... How long are you going to drag this out? For as long as I spark in need to. Until you come clean, Four Eyes. I can't believe this. Someone shoot me. What's that? Hey, Mimi, can you see that Ferranus over by the side of the big outcrop there, right? Oh, yeah. Odd. I don't have any data about a colony established in this locale. Odd for sure. No, I take a good look. Isn't it kind of old? It does look like it's seen quite a bit of service. Yeah, I don't think they make them like that anymore. Um, do you think it's safe to be around? You're freaking me out a bit here, Mio. Sorry. I don't think an apology is necessary. Do you think there could be some useful resources and stuff in there still? A possibility, certainly. It's in the general direction of our objective. Why not investigate it? Alright, let's check it out. Standard quest, the hillside husk. Accepted. Hey! Big monkey? Big monkey? Big monkey? Well, he looks like the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Big Monkey, but he moves with the roughly the same speed as the Xenoblade Chronicles 1 Big Monkey. Still, it's not a real Xenoblade game until you've been beaten by this monkey! Ah, they changed his name. What the heck, Monolith? This will be a challenge. Don't lose Come on, monkey, fight me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm pissed off that they changed his name. Bring back my territorial rot, Bart. But with that, we have respawned from our uh, ape incident. And we are going to leave this episode here. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been a more enjoyable experience than the previous episode. I have been your host, Whale. If you like this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. As always, comments are welcome down below. And I hope you all are having a great day. And until next time, goodbye.